Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. Now the new Smash Direct came out, and it is the final one in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Very sad, I know. But, um, I am making a My Thoughts on video because, um, Nintendo said, Yo, you know what we should schedule this? We should schedule this on a Tuesday at 10 a.m. Yeah, totally. I mean, granted, there was like 500,000 people there, but that probably would have been like, 2 million had, you know, they scheduled that at like 5 p.m. or some shit, bro. Like, bro, I don't think, I don't think Nintendo realizes that people got work or school. But enough of that part. Um, what I do gotta say about the Direct is that, um, basically this is the final one of Smash Ultimate. This might be Sakurai's final project on Smash in general. And that's sad, but hey, I, hey, that was, it's a good run with Sakurai on Smash if, if he actually retires. But basically... All I gotta say is that, um, they released two things, two major things that they announced, actually. Like, and when I mean two major things, I mean, like, I did not watch the whole thing. So I gotta, like, look look it up and, like, you know. But I do know the Mii Fighters ain't, like, you know, like the, like the character. Because, of course, I watched it. So right now, um, so we're gonna start things off by looking up, not looking up, we're gonna... We're gonna talk about the... We're gonna talk about the Mii Fighters, okay? Alright, so I just got done looking up, you know, the stuff. And apparently, I don't think they actually revealed any Amiibos, I think. Either that, or I just probably skipped through too much, and yeah. But anyways, all I can say is that we're gonna t look up two things. The Mii Fighters and the new character. First off, the Mii Fighters. Now, they did announce, you know, a couple of Splatoon characters like Judd. And Octolink. And then they announced Doom Guy. And that was it, bro. Like, honestly, I was, like, really interested in Doom Guy. And then that was it. I was like, was that it? Like, come on, bro. Like, Nintendo, I know you could have done more than that. But you know what? At least you got Doom Guy in there to, you know, make the me fighter class this time, you know, pretty good. So, so even though Doom Guy is not coming to Smash as a character, he is there as a me fighter. So, I, I guess it is what it is. And honestly, I don't mind the Splatoon Octolinks. Um, they're pretty alright. Um, like, uh, that's another new video idea I need to make. <laughs> like, uh, like, Inkling versus Octolink versus Judd. That sounds so good right there. Now, the new fighter, though, they announced was Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Now, I remember Sakurai said that in a tweet that the character was going to be a nobody. Now that I think about it, I think he was just trying to troll us. Um, basically... The characters I kind of wanted were either Raymond or Max Clawfield from Life is Strange, but we did not get any of them. But Sora, I thought they would not get him because I remember a while back, I think Disney said, I think someone said that like Nintendo tried to ask Disney for Sora and then Disney said no. But I guess that's not the case because it looks like Disney said yeah. <laughs> so now, canically. Disney is in a Nintendo game. Like, nah, Disney is in a Super Smash Bros. game. Canically. Not, I don't know if it's canically, but, you know. You know, they're an actual Nintendo game, okay? A mainline one. Like, a Smash one, okay? So, basically, do am I happy with Sora? Yes, because I thought it was going to be a nobody. I thought either two things were going to happen in the Direct that I thought would happen. One, it's going to be a... It, I thought it was going to be a JRPG anime character that nobody knows... Or two, it was probably going to be another Pokemon character like Cinderace. But, good thing that did not happen. But, but I will say this. Sora, I'm glad he's in. I never played any of the Kingdom Hearts games, going to be honest. I did watch some Call Me Johnny's videos on it, so does that count? Eh. But, yeah, I'm, I, I'm happy with Sora. His moveset does look pretty good. And he looks like to be a pretty top tier character when he does come out. So, yeah, I wonder how... I wonder if he'll be like Banjo, where like people will try him out for like a week or so, and then like, um, you know, drop him. <laughs> now that I think about it, most of the fighters pass two characters besides Steve. They everyone just drop them after a week. Oh my. Well, I don't know about Sephiroth, but like, now that I'm looking back at it, yeah, it seems like that's the case. But anyways, all I can say right now is that. The character's coming out October 18th, which is, you know, a while. You know, they gotta put in the finishing touches and stuff. But I realized October 18th's on a Monday, bro. What the fuck? Why a Monday, bro? Bro, I mean, good thing it's on, like, you know, like, 
good thing they released their shit at 8 p.m. If they would have released that shit like straight away, man, we would, me and Nintendo would have had problems, man. <laughs> hey, but for real though, like I don't know why they couldn't done it on like a Friday. That would have been way nicer. Would have enjoyed the weekend, but Nintendo's just Nintendo's just horrible at scheduling shit. Oh my god. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the Nintendo Direct, not Nintendo Direct, the Smash Direct for October fifth, twenty twenty one. I'm glad Sora's in. The Mii Fighters were, you know, they were pretty good. It was, it was better. It was better than the Pyra slash Mithra, you know, Mii Fighter set. But, yeah, I'm glad Sora's in. Um, I know Chain's still on break, and if he doesn't do a stream on October 18th, I guess I'm gonna do a waiting for Sora's stream on October 18th. So, yeah. But, anyways, I think that's gonna be my thoughts. Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Bye!